Welcome to the fourth counter foundation class. This class explains the attributes and elements introduced in Release 5 of the Code of Practice. Attributes and elements are an addition to the long standing usage metrics delivered through counter reports. They provide librarians with much more granular usage information and also mean that the counter team can better maintain and amend the Code of Practice over time. The first attribute we will discuss today is the data type. This attribute identifies the general type of content being accessed or for which usage is being reported. Data type is used when creating standard views for books and journals and is an optional parameter for the title master report. It can also be used to generate summaries in a database master report or platform master report. There are lots of different data types, including article, book, book segment, database, data set, journal, multimedia, newspaper or newsletter, platform, other, repository item, report, and thesis or dissertation. In this example of a title master report, TR, we can see that the data type is journal. The next attribute we'll discuss is section type, which is used when content is delivered in chunks or sections, and it describes what that section is. For example, a book may be accessed by the chapter, while content in a journal is typically accessed by article. Section type is an optional parameter for the title master report. Our top tip is that section type can help with measuring book usage by indicating if the unit of content delivered was an article, a chapter, a section, or the entire book. In this example of a title master report, we can see that the section type is article. YOP is the acronym for the attribute year of publication, and it indicates the year of publication for the content item accessed. YOP is an optional attribute in the Title Master Report, the Database Master Report, and the Platform Master Report, and it appears as a column in the Journal Requests by Year of Publication, excluding Gold OA Standard View. When it is known, YOP will be expressed as the Year of Publication in a four-figure format, for example, 2018 for 2018. If the year of publication is not known, it will be displayed as 0001. In some journals, users may access articles that have been accepted for publication, but which have not been formally published and which do not yet have the complete volume, issue and page information. In these cases, the YOP will be expressed as 9999. Our top tip is that very often a library may subscribe to a journal publisher's current content, sometimes called the front file, under one license, and may also have paid for another separate license for access to the publisher's archival content. Archival content is often older journal content originally published in print but now digitised. YOP enables librarians to see how much usage comes from the current content and how much from the archive. The cost per download for each can then be calculated. In this example of a title master report, we can see that the YOP is 2016. That is to say, in this case, the year of publication for the article is 2016. If content is available in print and online and the publication dates of the two formats differ, the year of publication of the version of record should be used. The version of record is normally the format that is published first. The attribute access type describes the nature of access control that was in place when the content item was accessed. That is to say, how much usage was open access or other freely available content, and how much was behind a paywall. Controlled usually means content behind a paywall, but it may be content which requires some form of registration before access is granted. OA Gold means content that is immediately free to read on publication, often but not always because of payment of an article processing charge or APC. Other free to read is content which is open to everyone for a period or permanently, but which is not OA Gold. 
it only applies to repositories. And finally, OA delayed. This means content which was once behind a paywall, but which has now become openly accessible after an embargo period. OA delayed is not currently implemented in Release 5, but is reserved for future use. Our top tip is that journals increasingly contain a mixture of controlled and OA gold articles. Journals with this mixture of access types are called hybrid journals, and access type will enable librarians to separate the usage of the two different types of content. This is important because increasingly librarians want to carry out cost per download calculations for content that they have paid for in hybrid journals, that is, the controlled articles. In this example of a title master report, we can see that the access type is controlled. That is to say, the article accessed in this case required a license and was not open access. Access method is the attribute which shows whether the usage related to investigations and requests was generated by a human user or by text and data mining processes, usually called TDM. TDM is a process through which large amounts of information can be analysed electronically, allowing researchers to work through far more content than they would ever be able to do manually. Researchers create programmes called crawlers or robots to capture the text or data that they need. The access method attribute appears as an optional parameter in all of the master reports. By default, TDM usage is excluded from the standard views for journal and book usage. The access methods are regular, usage by a human, and TDM, or usage by a crawler or robot. Because TDM may result in massive amounts of content being accessed, it could skew counter-reports. Separating TDM activity from regular access allows all usage to be measured and kept separate. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions about this tutorial, please contact us at compliance at counterusage.org and we will be pleased to answer. You can also learn more about Counter Release 5 by downloading our friendly guides from projectcounter.org and watch out for more Foundation tutorials from Counter, which will be coming soon.